How you guys doing? Curdy Cool is back again with a whole new series talking about the baby scammers, y'all. Series number two. Now, it comes to my attention, y'all. These baby scammers, y'all, have gotten away for years and years and years, y'all. Now, you know how to tell when a woman is a baby scammer? She set a man up, collect child support, run and hide out. That makes you a baby scammer. Red flag number one. Now, red flag number two. She get her mother, her grandmother involved. Scam, misuse, abuse the system. Red flag number two. Hey, y'all, I'm just going to lay it on the line. When you know that your woman is a baby scammer, y'all, red flag number three, as soon as the baby come into the world, that baby mother take the baby to her mother's house and want her mother to only be in control and be in charge of the baby. Now, I have seen situations like this, y'all. A father got a good job, y'all. Making top dollars, baby. Soon as the baby come into the world, y'all, the baby scammer takes the baby to her mother's house, y'all, and think that it's only about her mother taking care of the baby and dog and the father out, y'all. Now, I have seen that situation. Red flag to the baby scammers. Now, fathers is out here standing up to be fathers, but the mothers do not want to let the fathers stand up and be fathers. Now, how can a father be a father when the baby mothers are abusing the fathers and abusing the system? So they got life twisted. So in this situation, a baby mother takes the baby to her mother's house and leave the baby to her mother's house. Now she goes home to her husband. Her husband's like, where, where, where's my baby? We just had a newborn baby. Well, the baby mother my mother got the baby. That is where the baby will be. That is where our baby will be. So the baby's father said, no, this is not the way it works around here. We are a family. We are married here. We bring our baby home. We take care of our baby together as a family. What happened to the family? You take our baby and take our baby to your mother's house to raise our baby. So the husband is like, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not understanding this. You are my wife and you are portraying me like this, not letting me see my baby. Now, I, I, don't, I don't have to deal with this situation. My mother is going to be the one to take care of our baby. Yeah, 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 tell me. What is wrong with that picture? What? What? Did she just say that her mother will be the one to take care of our baby? I was like about to let. Whoa! Now, that red flag right there, yeah, that was some cold blooded stuff right there. So now, the husband is very dis discouraged. You know, hey, I thought I, I thought I married the woman of my dream. I mean, we were so together in the very beginning. We talked the lovely, doubly stuff, y'all. And 
instantly fell in love like over the mountain and under the rainbow and I called this woman my wife it just brought so many tears to my eyes and we decided to get married and, and settle down and have a family. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. I, I, I had a good job. I, I bought my, my wife a nice big old beautiful car and we had everything, yeah. But she takes my baby home to her mother to raise. So now the shit hit the fan inside of the home. You know, hey, look, you know, look, look, bring my baby home. No. The baby's mother, no. I'm not bringing the baby home. My baby got her home with my mother. So the husband and the baby mother falls out, y'all. Here we go again. So the baby scammer, y'all, scams the father and got this big old mess going on inside of the home talking about the baby's mother, mother will be the one to take care of that baby. Now, y'all help me to understand this. What is this world coming to? Why are so many women defaulting in this situation? Do not want to own up and let the baby fathers be a father. So now... This stuff hits the fan and this baby mother is fighting against the father but this is the way that it will be from here on out. My mother will be taking care of our baby. So the father said, no, look, 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 look. You got it all wrong. I mean, we take care of our business. We don't let your mother get involved and take over everything and manipulate and control everything. We take care of our own responsibilities. We both work. We set up a daycare. We pick up our kids. We bring them home. And we spend the time with our baby. And if your mother wants to come and visit and see us and see the baby, she is welcome to that. The baby mother, no. But my mother will be keeping our baby. So now this causes a big conflict between the father and his wife when he only wants his baby to be home with him, yo. So now this baby mother, yo, well, this is not going to work out. Now, y'all was married for six, seven, eight months right after the baby. Now this is not going to work out. What do you mean it's not going to work out? If my mother cannot keep our baby, this is not going to work out. I want a divorce. What? He look up. His wife files for a divorce. The baby is still at her mother's house. So she get child support and child support is paying her like Five thousand dollars a month, y'all. Just destroyed the family, y'all. Now father reaching out to be a father, but the baby scammer only wanted it her way, so she set it all up to the fault in the marriage to break the marriage up between her husband and let her mother take full control over his baby. So her mother messed it all up, screwed it all up, y'all. So now she puts him on child support. I call this child support thing nothing but the baby scammer got in a position to scam the father. <laughs> it's just like playing chess, y'all. Y'all, you gotta know how to play chess. The best one wins who can get created and find a way to be the top dog to outdo the other chess player. So she played the chess game on her husband, put him on child support, receiving $5,000 a month off of him. Now she's riding high and mighty. I got everything I want. See, the baby scammer, y'all. 
So now she's riding high, y'all. Now he just bought her a brand new car. They had a brand new baby coming to the home, y'all. She destroyed the marriage, destroyed the connection with the baby, wanted the baby to be with her mother. So now that caused a whole lot of conflicts within the home. And so the marriage fell apart. So she put the father on child support and was very happy about that. So now the father is like, okay, okay. So this is what's going on now. You got your baby. I made this happen. So now we are not a family. Now she's making things difficult within the father to visit his kid. So now the father goes through the court system and you guys know how it goes. So now, y'all, this father is going through this chaos with his wife, still trying to be a father with his, with his baby, y'all. Time goes by. This baby mother, I call her the baby scammer, y'all. Is steady, misusing, and abusing the system. Well, you can just take care of your, of your responsibility by just paying child support. And through the court system, we will set up for you to only visit your daughter. You know what I mean? He said, I didn't, I did not want none of this in the very beginning. This was not my idea. My, my main objective idea was to keep the family together and, and to be a father. And we was to be two grown adults and take care of uh, of our own responsibility with our kid. The baby mama scammer did not want that, y'all. It was only one way, and that was to receive child support and let her mother take full control over their baby, their kid. So, it got so complicated, y'all, until it was a big old mess. Well, the mother and the baby's mother felt like they couldn't trust the father. Well, we won't, we don't want him to see his baby. They made everything very complicated. So they go through the family court system. So they came up with a solution. Well, the only way he could see his baby, we meet up at the police department in order for him to see his baby within the first three or four months. <laughs> so the baby's camera is working on him again, y'all. What? You telling me I got to go to the police department and visit my baby for an hour or two and watch your ugly ass and your mother at the police department? Trying to visit my baby? Y'all, y'all tell me what's wrong with this picture, y'all. <laughs> so this baby scammer got him real good. So now she is collecting five grand a month. The mother and the baby's mother. Wow. They make everything so complicated. This father is, is, is just worn out trying to trying to deal with this situation and so this father had a great job he was paying child support I'm talking I'm talking about top dollars for some years uh. so she was used to riding high for two years collecting that five thousand dollar a month and mama was fully in control over their baby and keeping the baby away at the same time. And so when the kid got old enough, again, the baby scammer turns the kid against the father. So here we go again. Made everything complicated. Told, told a whole bunch of lies about the father. 
to only turn the kid against the father. So now the father is trying to have a visitation. But the kid is so, so messed up by this baby mother and her mother because this is the game that they are playing now. So now the father loses his job and has to downsize to a smaller paying job. So that means there's less child support coming in to that wife who just got that brand new car. <laughs> so instead of $5,000 a month, well now the baby mother will be receiving $800 a month. So she was not happy about that because she had just bought a brand new Benz, car no insurance, house no riding high, baby, riding high. I'm riding high, riding high. So the baby scammer was maxed out, baby, you know, riding high. Yeah. So his father was like, okay, uh, downsize is very hard for me to find a better paying job at this time. This is the best that I could do, but $800 is all you will get a month. So now the baby mother's upset and mad. You mean to tell me I went from $5,000 to $800 a month, but now it was your idea breaking up the family and, and, and flipping everything over into your mother's hand to only collect all this money. Now the money has downsized. So she's upset, y'all. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm stuck with this big ass car payment here and this house payment and all you are giving me is $800 a month. Mm-hmm. That's right, this $800 a month. But I will continue on paying my child support, seeing my kid, just to try to deal with the situation. Since you guys made it very hard and difficult, I will continue on seeing my baby through visitation if this is the game that you're playing. Okay, okay, okay. So you want me to meet up at the police department? I meet up at the police department, but 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 you're getting your $800 a month. What more do you want? So she was not happy that, that baby mother was not happy that she was receiving eight hundred dollars a month, so she wanted five grand a month. So now, guess what this baby scammer does now, y'all? So she just just screw the kids all up at this point, y'all. When you go over there, just act up, act a fool on his ass. Talk crazy to him, tell him everything, tell me everything that's going on. As soon as you get there, start videoing what's going on inside of the home. By this time, this father got him another woman. Living real good, nice home. Y'all got everything going on. So now the baby mother is mad about that. Now look at you now. My son just videoed inside of that house. And all these beautiful things y'all got inside of the home. And I don't have this. And all you are paying me is $800 a month. I don't, know. I don't like this. I don't like this. I demand you pay me my $5,000 a month. The father said, look, I tried in every possible way to, to be the father and the husband that you wanted me to be in the very beginning. When you promised to be the wife that I wanted you to be. And once our baby came into the world, you totally did just the opposite. And now you show me no respect because you turned our kid against me. And now everything just goes downhill. So now the kids are, are out of control. But you get your $800 a month. Now you're worried about my lifestyle over here. I, 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 I divorced you because you dogged me out. So I found me a good wife who can appreciate me. So she's mad that the husband 
found himself another wife, remarried, and she's better than what he had with her. So, but she's mad about that. Oh, I still want my $5,000 a month. This is all you will get. <laughs> so that baby's camel, yo, just turn the kids out, mess them all up, yo. It got to a point where there was no respect. It got out of control, yo. So these baby scammers, yo, I talk about these baby scammers because when you organize this stuff just to only use a father for your own benefit to only get what you want, once you get what you want, and then you flip the script and totally turn on the baby's father and twist everything up and mess his life up and mess everybody else life up out here. And now everything comes back around on you. But yet and still, this baby's mother is out here worrying about the father, his lifestyle. So now he is self-employed. So now uh, I'm not making a whole lot of money now. I do not know what to tell you at this point. I had a downfall in my job. And things is not working out with me here on my job. The best I can do is continue on giving you $800 the way it's already set up. So this baby mother, I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you, I tell you what, I tell you what. I'm going to go back into child support and see if I can get more money, more money, more money, more money. Talking about this baby scammer, y'all. So the father said, well, yes, you kindly do that. So that father's wife agreed with him. Yes, you do that, ma'am. You have that right. You do that. So she goes back into child support, ordering the court, talking about that she want more money. Guess what, y'all? The mistake that she made, she goes back into the child support and they pull the records and see the job that she has and that he's not showing nothing what's really going on with him on his end. Child support said, Matter of fact, this father cannot prove a replicable source of income. Well, we are going to have to drop his child support down to $500 a month instead of $800 a month. That's final. That's the best that we can do. What? What? So now everything is changing on the baby scammer, y'all. So the baby scammer stones out of the child support office, yo, within the mediation. She is so hot, she's mad about the situation, yo, that everything turned on her. And they told her where to get off at $500 a month. And leave this father alone. As long as he is paying you your $500 a month. Now you had a good man in the very beginning, being a father, now the man has moved on with his life. Now you're trying to screw up his marriage over here now. Ma'am, it is what it is. So within all that time, that baby scam was constantly uh, picking at this father and his wife trying to destroy their relationship because she could not get $5,000 a <laughs> so y'all see the picture here the baby scammer in the very beginning used abused manipulated the system and feel like that she had the winning hand so she changed on the father and totally screwed up everything in the relationship in the marriage and took her baby their baby to her mother 
And mama, like sometimes when mamas and grandmamas get involved, oh, you might as well hang it up. Like in my situation, once grandma get involved, y'all, your relationship goes downhill. <laughs> oh, no, girl. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Grandma is behind the scene, y'all. Now, girl, let me tell you something. You got him in a situation. You continue on collecting that $5,000. You don't need his ass. Get you another man who's got another good job and get money out of him. Plus, your five grand. So she's listening to her mom with all that crazy ass shit. I'm talking about that baby scamming y'all over here. So mama messed her all up, y'all. <laughs> See, now that's what you call being greedy, full of greed, being hateful and evil. So now this same baby mother is so angry and mad at the husband. He's got a woman by his side who support him and be there for him. This is what every man want, a good man want, is a for real woman with a good heart, a good mind, a good spirit, y'all, who is truthful, faithful, and is right with the way they are dealing with everything, y'all. Let's, let's, let's come at this and be a real family and deal with this the correct way. Some women out here, y'all, these baby scammers, y'all, their eyes get snaked. What I mean by that, get snaked. They get that evil appeal in their eye and they thinking that they are going to get more and the only way out is to screw up the relationship just to collect child support once they find out what kind of job you have. So now the baby scammer get mama involved a grandma involved and they just continue on screwing your life up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm out here talking about them baby scammers. I told y'all I was going to expose the baby scammers, y'all. Let's expose y'all. I expose, I expose, I expose. So now, I will be back on the next episode talking about these baby scammers, y'all. This stuff is real out here. Now, the baby scammers... What, why why do you guys go to that degree to scam a father and you totally screw up everything, the connection and the bond? So now there is no bond between a father and his kid because the mother or the grandmother or her, or her mother screwed up everything in the very beginning. Hey, yo. Uh, Curdy Cool is out here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to Curdy Cool series number two, baby. I'm talking about these baby scammers, y'all. This stuff is real. This is not a joke, baby. This stuff is real. If you don't have a real true woman by your side who can stand up and be truthful and faithful within their heart, y'all. And trust and respect you as a man and try to keep her family together in every possible way. If your woman turn on you right after a baby coming to the world, that is a baby scammer, y'all. It is what it is. Hey, y'all. Curry Cool, the exposer. I told y'all I was going to shine some light and I was going to expose what's really going on out here, y'all. Hey, you guys, leave your comments, y'all. Feel free to leave a comment, y'all. Y'all share a like. Hit the doggone bell. It don't matter to Curdy Cool. Curdy Cool is out here telling it like it is about these baby scammers, y'all. I was involved with a baby scammer, too. The same, let's see, the same situation. The baby mother baited Curdy Cool in. Grandma stepped in, did her little wicked shit, messed everything up, and tried to put Curdy Cool inside the doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> but Curdy Cool 
flip the script, do it all, and put grandma back into a big mama ragged ass role. I'm talking about that crazy Patricia Robinson, y'all. The same stuff happened, happened to Curry the Cool, y'all. And Curry the Cool flipped the script, y'all. See, these baby scammers are going to have to learn. Life is not complicated out here, y'all. You guys don't have to be making things complicated with a father who is trying to be a father and keep his family together unless you are a manipulator and you are out here only to destroy the relationship to only get what you want only. So that makes you a baby scammer. So anyway, Curry the Cool, I'm in this show. I'll see you guys in the next series, series series number three coming soon y'all make sure y'all tune in y'all make sure y'all subscribe y'all make sure y'all tell your friends i'll be back with the next episode curdy curdy that is curdy cool baby <laughs> exposing the baby scammers y'all i'm exposing them baby scammers Okay, bye.